Hi, it's me, Reynard Wilson, and I'm back again with another episode of Mind of Steel. This is the semi-regular feature in which I, your friend Reynard Wilson, attempt to explain every single thing that Mark Steele has ever or will ever do or say. Today's clip is from a bit shoot channel called Claire Edwards Uncensored. I imagine Miss Edwards puts her most wild and out there material on her uncensored channel, while her uh, other channel is probably full of cat pictures and family friendly material. Most of the people, I would say at least 90%, are actually getting the fact that this is a weapon system. I'm going to explain to you why it is a weapon system, all right? Well, you've certainly got my attention, Mark. I thought it was just a, a bunch of stolen circuitry from a, a streetlight somewhere near Mark Steele's home in Gateshead. But no, he's telling us that it is a critical component of a deadly 5G weapon kill grid. We're going to do a breakdown again for the very, very easily deceived. I think Mark is confused between the words breakdown and teardown. So a, a breakdown is, is when Mark's Jaguar XJ6 uh, has a total clutch failure on the A1M uh, and he has to spend eight hours waiting at Durham Services for the RAC man to come and fix it. A teardown, on the other hand, is when you uh, take apart an electronic device and, and explain its function and components for educational purposes. So let's hope that what we're about to experience is, is the latter and not the former. And the emissions from these lights are lethal. These are blue phosphor coated the blue leds see the phosphor coating that little yellow piece there that's a phosphor coating to give them the appearance of white light that's why they've got the bluey hairs is this some kind of spiritual theory of electroluminescence because mark is clearly aware that the yellow phosphors are, are are there to convert the ultraviolet light that the led produces into something resembling white visible light but uh he seems to be imbuing it with a kind of ineffable permanence of, of its blueness, that even though it no longer appears to be blue, even though it no longer contains any of the original ultraviolet light, to mark it is still there and will never go away. This controller, right, allows me to scan the environment, as that's a scanner, and it allows me to be able to see somebody and change the modulation from this light. Pulse rates, I can actually pulse them at you and actually cause it to be weaponized. It is, a it is a testament to mankind's depravity that weapons as dangerous as pulse modulated LED lights exist. Oh, we are a sick, sick species. The cruelty we inflict upon ourselves, flashing lights at each other at various frequencies. When will the cruelty end? Please let it stop. <laughs> I don't want to be in a world where lights flash and blink and illuminate on and off uh, with a square wave. It's just too horrible to think of. <laughs> oh, the humanity of it all. Not only does it have a 450 volt capacitor, it's actually attached to this piece of hardware. Let's just have a look at how nasty this bit of hardware is. That certainly is rather nasty. Uh, one of the nastiest pieces of hardware I think I've ever seen. And uh, as a young man, I used to work in a hardware store. We used to have uh, a particular room where we would throw the nastiest pieces of hardware in. Uh, and that hardware would be allowed to gather dust for a very long time. And we would forget all about it. <laughs> Until today, when Mark Steele turned over a circuit board and revealed to us just how nasty a thing could be. And it was as if those terrible times in the hardware store happened all over again. A terrible flashback in which I remembered the nasty pieces of hardware that were consigned to the nasty cupboard. <laughs> oh, please, my memories, don't haunt me. All right, this is what powers up and sends that power output to this. Wow, that is so nasty. It's a, it's a, a low current power cable uh, joined to another power cable via a, a tiny little um, cast plastic Molex connector. 
That's, um, that's pretty damn nasty. Oh, the nastiness keeps coming, Mark. Uh, now, I know that weapons developments are compartmentalised, so the pretty dim-witted who think that this is a ballast or something ridiculous, I'm going to tell you now. That's definitely not a ballast. Uh, I think it's a switched mode power supply, which is a very common electrical circuit that you'll find powering all sorts of low power electrical devices. So computers, games consoles, you've probably got maybe at least 10 of them in your house already. So it's a completely unremarkable electrical circuit. This thing's quite interesting, all right? This is a Talenza unit. See the controls? All right, very sophisticated controls. There's the antenna system, all right? Absolutely, potentially lethal. And here we have, that's upside down, but that's a 3,300 watt relay. They're 450 volt capacitors, all right, on this delivery system. Why would a device whose purpose is switching a street light on and off contain a relay capable of handling up to uh, three kilowatts. It, 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 it's a baffling question that, that takes approximately two seconds to answer uh, if you have the most basic knowledge of electronics. The reason why it might contain a relay is because it is a switch. Now you ask me, why would you want all of that capacity on there? Well, I can tell you pretty simply, it's a weapon. Mark seems to think that anything that contains these uh, sort of fairly tiny mains voltage capacitors must be a weapon. But, but these are really common components. You'll find them in just about everything that, that deals with mains voltage power. Uh, but, but Mark doesn't really have any knowledge of how electrical things are built, how they work, because he's never studied the subject. Yeah, so he's just jumping to, to wild conclusions and then restating his opinion quite vociferously, as if restating your opinion makes it true. Anybody that looks at this cabling in here can see the type of power capacity they're going to run up to this delivery weapon system here. It doesn't really look like much. It, it's a very thin piece of wire, uh, the sort of thing you might use to, to connect a, a very low efficiency antenna to a, a sort of fairly cheap radio receiver. Uh, in fact, you know, if I were making a nice one, I'd probably want to put some shielding on it. Or, or you could do a whole load better than that wire that, that Mark seems to be freaking out over yet again. Because this was actually a light sensor. This controls the light. It's nothing like this. Absolutely nothing. You'll see the same plug and play system look. They're absolutely nothing like each other except for the fact that they share a common pin interface and perform more or less the exact same function just by slightly different means. Same fitment. So what they do, come along, put a light sensor on. When you're asleep, they come back and fit something a lot more aggressive, a lot more dangerous. Well, we've all seen it, haven't we? We're, we're walking home late at night. Uh, it's about midnight and we've, we've, we've got a belly full of beer and, and fish and chips. And, and what's that guy doing replacing the, the, the light sensors on our street light with, with a Talenza uh, radio control switch? I like the light sensors. Why, why is he... Ch and you shout, Oi! What are you doing? Changing the light sensors. It's, it's bloody midnight. Get, you, you shouldn't be doing that. And... and and he turns around just as he clicks the thing, looks you in the eye and fades away because he was an apparition, a figment all along. He never existed, but if he didn't exist, who changed the light sensor for a Talenza on the top? It's totally illegal, totally and absolutely illegal. Completely illegal. Well, haven't we learned so much from our friend Mark Steele? Who can forget the street light LED components that appear to be perfectly normal white lights, but hide a deadly secret? But Mark also told us about the deadly devices controlling the light. You may have thought that they were there just to switch the light on and off, but Mark understands that they're there to issue some kind of 
pulse modulation for purposes so nefarious, so evil, that the mind can barely fathom. This is not a lamppost. It's a weapon system. A weapon system that could harm you, could harm your family, your children, your little baby, your cat, your dog, your hamster. And thank you, dear viewer, for sharing another episode of Mind of Steel.